tough week. Uh, the whole week was challenging. You guys know that. Really proud of our team, coaches and players, of just staying the course and getting to the point to where we're playing ball. I'm tired of hearing everybody, including y'all, predicting us to lose. And I told them we just got to sell. We deserve to get that, though. You know, we don't come out and play hard. Coach Hogerson was preaching to us this whole week, just play football, and today that's what we did. It was apparent through the first four games we weren't really having fun on offense. You know, we were pressing, everyone was a little tense. So I was like, you know, let's go have fun. Let's throw some deep balls. You know, let's let's get it going. You know, we moved some guys around. I think we, we got a right fit now. I knew a lot more than I let on. We repped on Clint the majority of the week, so it was a decision that was made early in the week. I room with Ford. And we lived together, and you know, he said it was bothering him. So I mean, I had an idea. And when you're the starter, and you know, you're, you got everyone behind you, and they're confident in you. That's so big for me. Everybody's gonna ask the question, why hasn't he been playing? Blah blah blah. He's been getting better and better and better. He did what we thought he could do, which was just be a ball player and get out there and keep the play alive. And he does do a good job of throwing the deep ball. Golly, they played well. They created turnovers. They stuck people. They made plays in key situations. They set up scores. We played really well defensively. We played okay offensively. Special teams, we got issues. We got to get sorted out. Honestly, for my three years I've been here, it's the most fun I've ever had on a, on a football field. I mean, we just flew around and just played for each other. Cook's interception in the fourth quarter was huge. Icky's interception return for a touchdown was enormous. I'm really proud of Coach Patterson and the defensive staff and what they've been able to do. They've been getting better each week. I think they're all getting better. I think Will Clark the last three weeks has really turned it on. I mean, he's turned the corner. Dontrell Hyman today, you know, the play on the goal line down there was, was unbelievable. And it changed the game. We've got a lot of guys up there getting better. Obviously, they're playing much better. They're much more gap responsible, and uh, they're running to the football, and they're better tacklers than they were last year. The thing that's probably makes me the, the most proud is just the, the effort and the intensity and the physical nature in which that's, that's West Virginia defense. It's what made West Virginia great. Even studying West Virginia back 10, 15 years ago, it seems like they always come up with a key turnover at the right time of the game. I think that's what our kids have stepped up. It's easy to fight when things are bad like they were last week. You know, it's easy to show back up and fight. Now things are good. we got to go back to work and continue to fight. We can't take a breath and pat ourselves on the back. You know, can't get too down after last week. got to continue to grind, and we're going to do that. Our guys knew because of what we see in practice how close we really were. It's a whole different deal of taking it from practice to a game. Y'all know it's far from a finished product. I mean, we're, we're rough at times, really rough at times. And so we did enough to win the game. That's a positive. But there's going to be a lot of things that we can improve on. Really want to compliment our fans. Thought they did a phenomenal job. Obviously, a lot of talk about people giving up on this team. and. We are going to get blown out no matter what it was, but uh, didn't sense that out there on Mountaineer Field. The fans were as good as I've seen them, and kudos to them. I mean, you got 60-some thousand people screaming for you. I mean, you know, your blood gets pumping. You know, we fed off them for sure. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome. I don't even know how many people were here today, but it felt like there was 100,000 and they screaming when the defense was third down, fourth down towards the end of the game, and uh, their support was amazing. I mean, we gave them nothing to cheer about last week. And I mean, they came back and then rooted for us when we gave them no reason to root last week. And so that was awesome to see. There's been a bunch of emotions here in the last week, as you guys can probably figure out. I mean, disappointment, embarrassment, you know, you can go down the, the list. And, and But they kept working. We had the best week of practice we've had all year. We felt like we could win, so we went out there and we wanted it pretty bad. It wasn't pretty in some situations, but uh, we did a great job. And then to come into a stadium that was rocking and just was really in the game the whole time, is a tribute to our fans. You know, it's a special moment at the end of the game for sure. I saw some of my good friends I grew up with in the stands. It was a special moment. That song, I know when I was trying to make the decision, that song like randomly came on one day. I was like, God, yeah, yeah, that's a sign. So I love that song, love the state, and glad to be back.